Hi there, this is Sheena Rowlands and today I'm sharing with you my latest layout for the Kupfar crew. This week we're using the Paige Taylor Evans Butterfly Background 5. Uh, it's a free cut file. It is 12 by 12 but I've actually made it 9 by 12 for this layout and I'm going to be using 49 and Market uh, Spectrum Sherbet uh, papers and embellishments. So I wanted to do uh, Muted Rainbow and I liked both of these backgrounds so I'm not sure which quite which one I'm going to use in the end but I have them both there while I decide how I'm going to back the cut file. So I'm going to follow the rainbows of this paper on the right I've decided. So I've got out all the papers on the left, they're all 6 by 8 that I've got from the Spectrum Sherbet range and I'm going to be just cutting some rough squares of ones to go behind the butterflies initially. So I'm just going to go through, so I'm looking for blues, um, greens, yellows and pinks. There's no, even though there is orange papers in this range, it's not particularly orange in this um, background paper, so I'm going to leave that out. So some of these papers, as you notice, they are untouched. I've got quite a bit of this range still left, and I think it's a good excuse for me to actually get some of it used up, so I don't mind cutting into the 6 by 8s I'm a little bit more precious with the 12 by 12s but um, hey, we want all this uh, beautiful uh, stash in our albums, don't we? So I need to crack on and just cut into them. So I'm trying to use a variety, I don't want all the butterflies to be the same and so uh, that's why I'm picking different papers and then I'm going to draw around the um, insert. I've kept all the bits that were inside the cut file and I've cut the cut file from white basil cardstock. This first butterfly made a mistake and I made one of the uh, wings a little narrower than it should be so I'm just recutting it. I'm not going to be precious with um, that background paper so that's a much better so using the insert I'm going to go around that and then I'm going to trim around it just and fussy cut with some scissors so uh, let me tell you about the cut file crew so the cut file crew is a IG um, hop a search so we have our own IG account and you'll also find us as individuals once a month, we take it in turns to pick a free cut file, which means that you will have access to it too. And then we aim to provide some inspiration on how to use it. And we are mainly um, scrapbookers from Europe and you'll find completely different styles. And every month we do it on the last Sunday of the month, you will find the cut file and all this inspiration. So do check us out and uh, as individuals and as the cut file crew on Instagram so you and I'll put that in the comments below so that you can actually see all this um, inspiration so I've cut out the majority of them I think I've missed a couple but I'll come back to it so I'm just going to flick this over and start to stick them down with a little bit of wet glue and this is just some glue from Nuvo um, their deluxe adhesive and um, it's only taking a few drops and then I'm just adding the cut file on the back. Obviously, I'm not going to do all of those on camera. Uh, I think you all uh, know how to back a cut file. Um, but I'm just making sure that I follow the rainbow. A couple of them are overlapping, so I might need to trim a tiny little bit off. But generally, um, just being careful with the in inners missing, this cut file is actually quite delicate. And because maybe I've made it, because I've shrunk it down to make it 9 by 12 so my first original idea was actually to create a 9 by 12 layout. But as this started to progress, so there's the blue and then the green and there's the pink. I don't know why I, I did them in a different order. And that's the yellow and it's all covered now. And um, I don't know whether I want it 12 by 12. So I'm keeping it 12 by 12 for the moment. And I'm in two minds as I carry on embellishing. So the photograph is of me, not as the mum, me as the baby. So I thought with the muted pastels, it really would suit a baby photograph. So I've got this one out of me and my mum, and I'm only a week or so old. And this is more Spectrum Sherbet that you can see on the left. And I love the um, larger word, title words, but I feel like they're maybe they're too big and too dominant because it's with the delicate colours and the delicate cut file. And with the picture so I'm actually looking maybe of adding the smaller words so I'm just having a figure out whether I like the way this looks and then adding a few of the chipboard hearts in between and I think that actually might be something that works I hadn't really thought much further than actually backing the cut file at this stage 
but that's okay. Um, some layouts can just develop as you do them. As you can see, I've got quite a bit of spectrum sherbet there, so plenty of bits to look at. So I've got some thicker foam pads here. I'm just going to add them on the back of the big butterflies and I will trim some of them down just to add bits to the smaller butterflies. Just to lift it off the background, just to add a little bit of depth and shadow. And now that I've got the centres in, um, that would work. I've put a cross on that blue one. I don't know whether you can see it just underneath my hand there, because that's the one that's going to go uh, go with the photo tucked in. So there's no point me sticking that down at this stage. I've just marked it so that I'm not a complete idiot and stick it down because that's just exactly the sort of thing I could do. So uh, I'm just going to peel the backs off these foam pads and then I will flip it over and there it is stuck down with the blue one not stuck down so I can stick the photo. So I've added a foam pad to that and I'm going to get that tucked in and committed to. There we go. And I definitely like that um, way it is. So I'm going to come back and I'm definitely going to go with the little words I think. So I've picked them out of all the embellishments that I've got left and I'm going to start to add them around the page. They all say slightly different things and I'm going to dot them around the butterflies and I think I really like the way that this is coming together. I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing how my teammates have used this cut file actually uh, to see how different they all are uh, and whether somebody else has maybe changed its shape. That's what I love about cut files. You can actually make them a little bit more unique by changing the shape uh, or the size or the way that you fill them or don't fill them. So I think they're really versatile uh, embellishments for scrapbook pages and there's lots of free ones out there and as I say we always like to play it with one free, month, one free one each month. So do have a look back on the Instagram site to see the ones that we've used. We try to mix it up who they who, who designed them so just so you've got a, a wide range to look at. So I'm just doing what I love and when that's like messing about, adding a few bits and pieces. I haven't got, I've obviously used this range a few times before, even though I've still got quite a lot left. So I'm just looking at what words work and what hearts work around the page. Because I don't want to add too many embellishments, I'm actually trying to consciously think about where the embellishments I do want to use are going to go. So that's what's taking up the time. I'm going to do my usual trick and I'm going to add some journaling on the back. I have this scrap this photo of me and my mum before but um, I'm quite happy to scrap photos more than once and there's a couple of things I wanted to say uh, and memories that I had so I'm going to actually um, add my journaling to the back of this layout. So it's there for the future but it's not actually going to uh, affect the aesthetics on this side. So I've come in with some more foam pads. I'm going to lift up these chipboard and die cut words just so that they're um, off the butterflies a little so you can still see the colour of the butterflies underneath. So if you uh, do like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, I'm getting towards a thousand followers and that would be great if you could do that. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you've got any questions, please use them in the uh, comments below. I'm happy to answer. might take me a few days, but I usually come back to everybody if they've got anything that they want to ask. So here I am coming back in with the wet glue making sure that these are going to stay put. Um, I hate it when you look back at layouts in the future and they've got all bits in the bottom of the bag because you can never quite remember where you actually um, wanted them to go. So if I can stick them on now and they stay that would be perfect. So that's everything stuck on. Quite happy with that. Cleared the desk and I just bring in some white liquid acrylic paint and I'm just going to add just a little light splatter, particularly over some of the solid butterflies, with just with a paintbrush so that I can actually just break those up a little bit. It's more obvious on the darker ones and it's only very faint, but uh, you can see it in the close-ups. I've covered the photograph so that I don't actually splatter my mum and I. So um, I'm quite pleased with the way that that is now going. And I think that's going to be literally it. So... Thank you so much for watching. I will have a full image and some close-ups for you too. And I hope to see you here again real soon. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.